Facts First presents These guys found this giant safe in a former gang house and were determined to break it open. On March 16, 2013, a man's friend moved into a property in New Zealand that was associated with drug crimes in the past. The man helped his friend move his belongings into the home where they found something strange in the basement. The men looked at the structure and believed that it was some type of safe. The structure had a heavy steel door, and when they opened up the door they found a lot of clutter. They also found a locked safe. This wasn't your ordinary safe, though. It was actually built into the wall of the house. The men had no idea what to think about this safe, but they were determined to break it open. First, though, help us spread the word about Factsverse by clicking that like button. And also be sure to subscribe and click the notification bell so you don't miss our future videos. They looked at the door of the safe and found that it was sealed closed with a dial lock. It was marked around the edges with aging brown tape. The man thought maybe the tape was a clue to the combination. They tried for a bit, but neither of them was able to figure out how to crack the code. The man didn't know what to do next, so they posted a picture on Reddit asking other users for help. The people who saw the story were incredibly intrigued. Unfortunately, the men and the people who saw their post would be waiting and wondering for a long time before they could get any answers – another nine months, in fact. The man, whose Reddit name was Don't Stop Me Smee, wasn't the first person to stir up some excitement on Reddit about a mystery safe. Two years earlier, another user known as Secret Safe caused a lot of controversies when he found a safe in his father's casino. As people became excited, the man disappeared without a trace. The man thought about this, and at first he wasn't sure if he was going to create an online post at all. Finally, he did decide that he needed some help. After posting the photos and the appeal for help in opening the safe, he got over 6,000 comments. Some people were giving advice, others were just wanting to see what was behind the door of that safe. One user, TOF911, claimed to work with safes. He said that the lock model was a Sergeant and Greenleaf 6630. He told the man to use a special stethoscope to crack the combination. He said that if that didn't work, the lock could be opened if it were carefully drilled. Well, there were other users who worked with safes, and they commented with various factory setting combinations that might work. One person said that since the handle had already been ground off, the safe couldn't be opened without the correct combination. Many amateur safe crackers had ideas, others had more destructive suggestions, such as using a jackhammer grinding wheels and plasma cutters. Because the man who was moving into the property was renting it, none of those methods would be possible. Some of the Reddit users were a bit hesitant to believe the man's story was even true. He understood why, so he took to Reddit to let people know that, yeah, his story is real. He wrote, I know Reddit's history with safes. If someone comes up with a useful way to get into this thing, I will try it tomorrow and post pics. The next day, he started a new subreddit, and it was dedicated to the progress of his mission. In two days, over 60,000 users subscribed to watch the entire thing unfold. Everybody's interest was piqued. As the weeks passed, the man's updates were becoming less and less regular. The posts that were once offering encouragement and tips suddenly became nasty comments and snide remarks. People were worried that they had been fooled once again by a safe scam. Well, finally, the man resurfaced on June 1, 2013. He posted a subreddit saying that he had lost his grandfather and he was looking for some emotional support. He had his own things going on and the safe was the last thing on his mind. The people believed that they had heard the end of it at that point. In 2014, things took a turn, though. The man moved out of the house with the safe and a new resident came in and took a picture of the safe, not knowing that it had been such a huge topic of interest in the past. He was shocked that his home had been so popular just a year earlier. Even better, he was able to provide Reddit with some answers. After learning about the safe's fame, he went into the basement with a borescope, cutting blades, a drill, and a crowbar. When he got the safe opened, it was empty. All he found were cobwebs and a few spiders. Reddit was disappointed, and I'm guessing the new resident was disappointed too. Not everything was lost, though. He decided to turn that space into an elaborate liquor cabinet. Subscribe for more!